Now, there are just a few thousands drill bunkers left in the world, but the drill ranch in southern Nigeria is providing a home safe from the threats of habitat loss and hunting. Angela Ukomadu reports. In the forests of southern Nigeria, Sugary is enjoying his old age. He's 20, an elder statesman in drill monkey terms, but his life was nearly cut prematurely short. Clinging to his mother's chest as a baby, he lost her and his left hind leg to a hunter's machete. Maimed and orphaned, he would have likely died had he not been rescued by the drill ranch. It's a haven for the species, only found in Nigeria, Cameroon, and Equatorial Guinea. Nsikang Enineket is assistant manager there. Their population, it's not even up to a thousand back there in the world. So um, due to a um, series of human um, activities such as logging, illegal logging, hunting, and illegal farming, and all these factors affect them and then reduce their population, making them to be endangered. Founded three decades ago, the sanctuary now cares for 600 drills across two locations in southern Nigeria. They are protected by people like Peter Adie. Armed with a torch and a machete, he patrols the forest at night, untying tree traps set by farmers. I used to hunt, uh, but um. When I discovered the important, I stopped hunting. I choose it just to preserve uh, trees, animals, and any other important thing for the young generation, the oncoming one. Many in the area have left hunting for agriculture, but there are still risks for drill monkeys. Most farmers have a zero tolerance policy towards wild animals eating their crops. I have a vast land. Solomon Abang is a farmer and driver in the area. I saw that farmer now, if they say that is what I normally used to do, if the one that they have gone, sometimes, if they say they went to their farm, they made monkey dead and used to kill it there. But for me, I don't have a gun to do. That is how monkey normally used to eat my banana. The drill ranch's long-term aim is to release monkeys back into the wild population, boosting numbers and genetic diversity. And it is that story from Nigeria that brings us to the end of Weekend and One. Many thanks for staying with me. My name is Dennis Aceto. Enjoy the rest of your viewing. Good afternoon.